Hello and welcome back to the Minecraft Multiforce. Today we're going to be building the Higgins boat in Minecraft. So this is a World War II era amphibious landing craft used by the United States for the Normandy uh, invasion. And you'll see this in Saving Private Ryan. So this design is built by Kayato. He's here for the video and I also helped with the design. And right over here is Asai Hatsio. And all three of us, we sort of like uh, built this little set just for um, showcasing it in the actual video. For the thumbnail, we need a thumbnail picture, so it's a great set. So yeah, this is what it looks like when it's landing in the beaches. Uh, we got the ramp lowered down uh, for the craft itself. I think this is a wheel either for steering or like for the ramp lowering down. I don't know which, I think it's for steering. And behind we have two uh, 30 caliber machine guns. So there's two gunners in the back. And uh, yeah, this is the version where it's um, in transport mode, I guess, uh, just before they unload the troops. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the scenery <laughs> and uh, let's get started on the tutorial. So here's what the Higgins boat looks like out of water with the ramp lowered down and the ramp raised. So we're gonna be building uh, the one raised first. So the first thing we want to do, we want to take out stone, place that down, and this layer is actually going to be uh, where the water is, so just be aware of that. And then we're going to add it so it's going to be five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five. And then after that, we're going to take out um, stone brick slab, and we're going to add six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to skip two away from the edge and delete this block here. And we'll replace it with a stone brick stairs facing the back. And we're going to make uh, the rest of this part a full stone brick block like that. Then we're going to go um, right behind. Let's add a skeleton skull. And this is going to be the propeller. Behind that, we're going to add in diorite walls, two blocks. And right above that first to the right wall, we want to add in a stone brick stairs upside down facing the front. All right, so from this point on, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to be building one half of the craft first since it's almost symmetrical, like 90% of it is. So we're just going to be doing uh, this side first. So on this side, we're going to extend where we had that stone block earlier. Just extend that out a block. And the front, we're gonna add three blocks of upside down stone brick stairs. And then four stone brick slabs, like so. And we're gonna add two stone brick slabs on the inside part. And then once we're up to here, let's go back to where this is. And we're gonna add stone brick slabs in front of this. And let's add a two by two on the side of that. Then the side, we're going to add two upside down stone brick stairs facing outwards. And then stone block, and that's going to extend all the way to that first area that we had earlier, like that. And on the inside part of this, um, I think we're going to fill this in, just add four stone blocks on the inside part here. And you know what, let's fill in this middle part as well, like that. And then we'd go back in the front. Let's add in the ramp. Um, there's going to be polish andesite block or polish andesite slabs. Uh, two slabs like that. Dangling up polish andesite blocks. Dangling up andesite slabs. And above that, andesite polish andesite blocks. In the middle, we want to add in polish andesite slab with a block on the side of it. On top, there's going to be two polish andesite slabs. So that middle hole is actually that hole that makes like the rectangle in the middle of the craft. So on the side, we're gonna add in this iron bar. It's gonna be two blocks tall like that. And then we're gonna add in on the side stone brick slab here on top, two stone blocks underneath it, and then a stone brick slab. And right behind it, it's gonna be uh, stone stairs upside down facing outwards. So next we're gonna go on the inside part. Let's add in a stone brick slab. We're gonna make it seven blocks long in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
And the seventh one, we're gonna make it a full block like that. Let's add another stone brick slab, or stone brick block on the other side. And then we'll add, um, in this little trench that we made, dark oak wood slabs all the way across. It's gonna be like the floor. And let's add dark oak wood trap door uh, right behind this um, polished andesite block alongside that hole so it looks like that. And Kayato's in the way. Um, next, let's add in the little number that goes in the front. So it's gonna be a quartz block right there and then the quartz uh, stairs upside down like that and then we're going to add a stone stairs like that and we need to skip a block at stone stairs skip a block stone stairs and uh, i'm not sure about this one uh okay so we do yeah we're going to replace that one with stone stairs so we got those four holes out there and then we're going to add stone in the pillars around the stairs and stone stairs upside down so we got that nice uh, hole so got that little interior detail so um on the side let's add stone all the way to the back all the way across the outside part in the middle here we're gonna add two quartz blocks like that and dark oak slabs on top of that quartz slab and then we'll take stone uh, brick slab. We're going to add in, um, I believe this is like four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And then there's going to be uh, stone brick stairs facing the back. And then stone brick stairs facing outwards. And then there's going to be stone brick stairs facing the inside part. And then we're going to add two stairs facing outwards. One stairs inside, two stairs facing outwards, one stairs inside, and then two stairs facing outwards. So there's that little pattern. So we got that like little pillar <laughs> that goes across. And um, on all the outside or the stairs facing inside, we're going to add in an uh, iron bar like that. So we got three of these. And this is just like a little rope or wire. I don't know exactly what's it for. But they do have this in some pictures I saw. So we're going to add in a little loop-de-loop. -loop. So it kind of dips in the middle. <clears throat> Just add in these two iron bars in between those two. So you can see it makes like a W shape. And next, uh, let's go in the back. And let's add in a stone block in the middle. Right in front of that slab. Stone brick slab on top. And stone brick stairs on the side of that upside down or rather facing the back like that and then we're to skip a block and add another one facing the back and behind this one we're also going to add some stairs facing the back and make it go all the way across to the middle and then uh, let's add in between this is going to be a stone brick slab just two slabs like that so we're left with this hole which we're going to fill in the sides with um, stone. So add stone around the hole. So you can like sort of dip inside and let's add in a stone brick slab in the inside part so you can kind of sit in here. And for the machine gun itself, we're going to add in, uh, what is this? Spruce fence gate right on top of that uh, stairs and we're going to open it up and let's place a stone stairs in front like that and we're going to add a birch trap door and then we're going to close it up so that's going to be uh, the guard for the machine gun and let's add in um, an end rod right here for the actual gun so it sticks out and in the front we're going to add in uh, two stone brick stairs right here upside down and right side up next to it we're going to add in two uh, stone blocks like that and then we're going to add in two stone brick slabs right here and a stone block here and let's add a stone brick slab like that all right then in the front we're going to add a birch button on the side like that and yeah that is pretty much it on all the symmetrical parts now we're going to flip it off to the other side all right so we got both sides done now we're going to go to the machine gun 
and uh, we need to make this gun like the other gun so we can add in that trap door. So I just switched the side of the stairs and closed up that trap door so I got those two guns. And we're also going to add in this little wheel here so we're going to add a stone block here with an oak trap door on top. So I guess this is like the driver or the operator. They could just sit here uh, right behind that wall. And um, yeah, I think that's actually pretty much it on how to build um, the Higgins craft when it, the ramp is like uh, raised up. Now to actually lower the ramp, what we're gonna do, I guess, uh, let's just modify this one here. So we're gonna delete this wall here. Delete, delete, delete. And I think, yeah, let's just go all the way down. Delete all that and the trap doors. And I'm not sure if we delete, yeah, let's just delete this too. The andesite. So then we're gonna add a polished andesite slab in the middle. And dark oak slabs on sides. Then we're gonna go a slab down and we're gonna add in uh, this two more of this actually three blocks long polish and a site slabs like that and then um two dark oak wood slabs on the sides in the front we're gonna add three blocks wide polish and a site like that and now we need to add in the wire that lowers down the ramp which is just gonna be um, two blocks tall of iron bars and two blocks long of iron bars so it sort of makes like this L shape as you can see and now you can uh, land your troops on the beaches of Normandy and uh, you make your little uh, World War II diorama as you can see right here uh, but yeah that's actually pretty much it on how to build the Higgins boat in Minecraft aka the LCVP and thanks to Kato for building the original design if you guys like this video remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.